This is an ABP Life podcast. Welcome back to fresh new episode of ABP Life podcast Spiritology and I am Sneha Jain back with your weekly predictions. For this week from 10th of July to 16th of July, let us see what the week has to tell to you. Starting from Aries the Aries are in guilt and they are feeling a nothingness. They are also compromising a lot of things this week. I want you to please don't feel guilty and take precautions against those things. Of course, whatever happens, happens for good and it has been happening to tell us something. So please make things easy, decisions easy and don't compare your life with others. It is important for you to stay very calm in this period because this period can be a little challenging for you. The guidance card says that a manifestation is possible but this can come around the end of the week. So I want you to don't blame yourself for things, rather work out. Next, we talk about the Taurus. The Taurus are oscillating between the good and the bad and they are coming out like winners this week. This week is bringing to you a lot of abundance, a lot of glory, a lot of fame and recognition. So you are going to do something which is unimaginable by you also. So this week has the potential for you to come out and do something which is really astonishing every everyone and this is something which is you has not accomplished yet. So at the work front, you have to pay a lot of attentions because this week can get you a, a real big, big happiness. Also, the guidance card talks about paying attention to the children. If you want pregnancy, conception, this is a great week for you. Talking next from the Taurus to the Gemini. Geminis are having a lot of suppression, politics and negativity. I want you to take it easy this week because your Suk Chen, everything has gone for a toss. So this week has to be taken easily, harmoniously and with a lot of mind, not with your heart. If you play with your heart, you will trust the wrong people and you get hurt easily. So I want you to please trust the right people and allow people not to play with you. Be very mindful in your approach because if you are not mindful, then it can be a disaster later. So take care this week. Talking from the Gemini to the Cancer, the Cancer are completing something which has been on a hold for a lot of time. I see that you are coming down to a ground where everything looks beautiful and sorted. You are quite sorted and the aloneness, the disbelief, the disharmony is now going away. It is a beautiful week emotionally, mentally, physically. You are traveling, you are having fun. It's a great week overall. From the Cancer, we come down to the Leos. The Leos are being intuitive and that's something which is a rare combination. If you have that intuition, that deja vu feeling against anything, take care of it. They have important messages for you. Take care of what you dream. Have a dream journal. Start journaling this week because this week, whatever the universe is going to tell you, they will communicate it out to you. And this is going to be something which is a major, major thing important message which comes down from the universe otherwise the week is quite sorted and you can be happy and tranquil in this period but take care of what you receive from the leos we talk about the virgos the virgos are feeling a little sorrowful for something which has happened in the past but you don't need to cling to the past in order to move forward in life because if you keep clinging it's not gonna help you i want you to leave behind all the sorrows and think about the beautiful future beautiful present if you live in the present there are a lot of possibilities that can come financial possibilities work possibilities are there and you are uplifting your own energies so on the work front there is a lot of things to gain but please come out of the trauma that you have been in the past talking next about the libras the libras are cool they're having trust they're having all the creators energy the inner voice everything i originally feel that you are in your complete state of mind and you are growing so the fame recognition the kind of energy that you have been waiting for for a very long time is now coming into the picture and playing and you are shining and you are very very happy in this state the physical body is absolutely beautiful and there are financial changes financial gains that can be seen this this week 
talking next about the scorpions the scorpions look exhausted and they've been clinging to old people old people will bring new challenges in life and always remember scorpions the old people will not help you with anything so if there's somebody who has really betrayed you in the past please don't go back to them make sure that you're taking wise decisions because this time is a time of exhaustion and can leave you like that workplace looks decently well work opportunities look well but your health and your lover can be something which can cause a lot of exhaustion so it is important for you to take care of yourself in this period and have limited context to people. We now come to the Sagittarius. You are having a thunderbolt kind of approach, dear Sagittarius. And this is something which is making everybody, you know, so mesmerized. You are having a great energy realm. You should just consume this week in doing the best out of yourself. If you are in any kind of creative field or any kind of sales kind of field, you can have great incentives, great, great recognition this time. If you are a student, you can have great results. And if you want to apply or do something new, this is a great week for you. So overall, I think you're quite, quite connected with the universe and everything looks so sorted this week. Talking next from the Sagittarius to the Capricorns, the Capricorns are being lazy and procrastinating things. This is not going to help you Capricorns. This is anti-Capricorns. I am sure that you guys have to work on things that need attention because you certainly need that kind of help. I see that there can be some kind of confusions in your head in decision making. So don't make any decisions this week. This is a week of taking it easy because you specifically need a time out. And this has occurred after a long time. So work can happen, but after a time out. Then talking about Aquarius. Aquarius are undergoing a transformation and they feel that they are burdened because of that. It's okay. During a transformation, we are always feeling that we are transiting from one thing to another. You know, like this transition is something which can take a toll on your head and your heart. That's so obvious because it's a change. But this change is bringing to you a lot of positivity. So have a positive mindset, a healing approach to things. And I am sure a transit is going to be beautiful. I also feel that you can have some kind of unforgiveness towards somebody. Somebody will try to create a problem for you. And I think that you are, you're not going to say it back to them and you will have some kind of unforgiveness. So it is better for you to talk and release that energy instead of making it stay inside because inside it's get, it gets rotten inside you and you are then going to think a lot and cause emotional and physical stresses for yourself. Lastly, talking about the Pisces. Pisces are innocent, they are intense and they are tuning in. Cool like the Pisces, always like the Pisces, always flowing with the river. So you are flowing with the river of life and this is very, very so you. It is some a place where, you know, not let the world say anything. The world is saying whatever, but you are so, so happy inside, so fulfilled inside this week that nothing in the world can harm you. Your intensity of work, your intensity of making that mark on people is amazing this week. So you are very, very... Uh, bold, very happy and quite contented this week. The guidance also talks about playfulness. You are being happy, you are being giggly, being playful and quite innocent this week, dear Pisces. So this was it from me, Sneha Jain on this show, ABP Life Podcast, Spiritology. I will be back next week with more predictions for your weekly tarot. Until next time, all love and light to you.